वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू सी टाइप्स ऑफ इको सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न वॉट इज इको सिस्टम इको सिस्टम इज अ कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स इंटरेक्टिंग विद ईच अदर इन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया एज वेल एज विद दर नॉन लिविंग एनवायरमेंट देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ इको सिस्टम बेसिकली दे आर डिवाइडेड इंटू टू मेन टाइप्स टेरेस्ट्रियल इको सिस्टम एंड एक्वाटिक इको सिस्टम we will first have a look at terrestrial ecosystem terra means land ecosystem existing on land is called as terrestrial ecosystem there are many types of terrestrial ecosystem forest ecosystem desert ecosystem grassland ecosystem and mountain ecosystem let's explore some of the common terrestrial ecosystems forest ecosystem forest ecosystem has a dense population of flora and fauna flora means plants and fauna means animals this ecosystem has highest rainfall desert ecosystem deserts receive low rainfall not more than 25 mm and they have a very high temperature earth has 17% of land occupied by deserts you will find plants having leaves which can store water have you seen aloe vera plant its leaves are succulent leaves which can store water animals in desert are adapted to desert environment grassland ecosystem grasses are mainly found in grassland ecosystem with few trees and shrubs therefore you will find grazing animals herbivores insectivores here in more numbers mountain ecosystem mountains are near to equator therefore they are subjected to variation in climatic condition some mountains are very cold and some mountains are warm in condition there are variety of animals and plants that can be found in this ecosystem The reason is there is a temperature gradient along the slope of the mountain. Temperature gradient is change in the temperature. So on top of mountain you will see different kind of temperature. As you come down there will be a different temperature. As you come to the bottom there will be more drastic change in the temperature condition. So at various points on the slope climatic conditions are different. which results into more biodiversity in mountain ecosystem moving towards aquatic ecosystem aquatic ecosystem is divided into fresh water ecosystem and marine water ecosystem fresh water is a water having low salinity level and in marine water ecosystem salinity will be high Freshwater ecosystem is further divided into lentic ecosystem, lotic ecosystem, and estuarine ecosystem. Lentic ecosystem comprises of stagnant or still water, such as ponds, lakes, and pools. Lotic ecosystem includes moving water such as river and stream. Estuarine ecosystem is also called as wetland ecosystem because this ecosystem is occupied by land which is saturated with water for a considerable period of time. Freshwater ecosystem covers 1.7% of earth's surface. It consists of small fishes, amphibians, a variety of insects and plants. Marine ecosystem covers about 71% of earth's surface and 97% of all the water resources. Marine ecosystem includes corals, algae, sharks, phytoplankton, zooplankton and different types of fishes. Marine ecosystem is also divided into many zones. Characteristics Availability of light decides different types of organisms living in a certain area in a marine ecosystem. 
we will have a look at two basic zones in marine ecosystem the region till light penetrates in a marine ecosystem is photic zone as we go deep in the water there will be no light this zone is a photic zone organisms which do activity of photosynthesis will stay in photic zone so there are phytoplanktons which can be found in photic zone whereas deep sea animals which produce their own light can be found in a photic zone such organisms are called as bioluminescent organisms so they produce bioluminescence means they produce light so that they can see in a deep water ecosystem organisms in marine ecosystem are divided into planktons nectons and benthos planktons are the animals which drift with the water current for example algae jellyfish and crabs nectons are the organisms which are very strong swimmers and they and water current do not affect them for example fish and shark benthos are the organisms which lives on the bottom of water for example sea anemones sea weeds sea snails corals and fish is showing bioluminescence with this video we covered basics of environment and ecosystem thank you for watching the video